Welcome to in 5 minutes. Now I'll write a program to reverse a given string without reversing characters in the individual words. So in this case we are going to reverse a string but we are not going to reverse the characters in the words. On the contrary we are going to reverse the order of the words. For example here the input string is this is an easy task. The reverse of that is task easy and is this. So we have kept the words intact but their order is changed. So first word has become the last word. Second word has become second last word and so on. The last word has become this fifth word becomes the first word. But the words are intact. They are not reversed. Okay. Now how to do this? Let's see. Here we will assume two character arrays. A for input and B to store the resultant string. Take an example. A input is XYZ space PQR space AB. It can be any character string with any number of characters and any number of words. Obviously up to certain limit of array. Now what we will be doing is first we will copy the last word AB into resultant string. Then we will go to PQR that will copy over here. Then we'll copy XYZ over here. So that is how we are going to work in general. Now how we will be doing with this with the coding exactly that we will try and understand. Here first I will get the length of the input string. In this case the length is 10 that is number of characters in the string are 10. Now I will use i variable to move through the a string in reverse order that is from last minus 1 to 0. So I will take values 9, 8, 7, 6 up to 0. So obviously it will be some for loop or while loop which will take i index variable from 9 to 0. While moving from last index to first index every time I will keep checking is the i character a space character. Before that I have to initialize j equal to 0 to start copying the words into resultant array. So this will be set at the beginning of the program only. And I will use this k variable to copy the words. Now how that k will be used that will understand as we will go forward. Okay, So in this case first there will be major for loop or while loop that will move from 9 to 0 using i variable. As we go on moving backward at some ith character I will get a space. So when I get a space I will copy the next word into the resultant string from location j. See for example here when i is moving backward 9 8 7 at 7 it will get a space so i will stop at 7 and we will initialize k as i plus 1 that is 8 and from 8 and 9 we will copy this word into uh, b using j so we will copy kth variable into jth variable that is 8 into 8th character into 0th character over here that is a then we will make k as 9 j as 1 copy b into next location that is copy 9th of a into first of p. Again we'll increment k but that time we reached the end of the string. Now when you're moving forward using k either we'll get the end of the string or we'll get the next space. So when you get the next space or a null character we have to stop copying the word. Fine. Then we'll put a space over here and make j equal to j increment to 3. So currently j will stop over here and i is already at 7. Again I'll start moving from 7 backward at location 3 it will get a space. When it gets a space we will initialize k equal to i plus 1 that is 4 and then 4 onwards that is from here onwards till I get a space I will start copying word into jth location. So 4th into 3rd over here that is p then this will be incremented this will be incremented to 4 5th into 4th that is 5th of this into 4th of this that is q copied then increment both 6 and 5 copy 6 of this into 5 of this that is 4 copied then both increment 7 and 6 at 6 place will be the space because word is finished and then again move i backward from 2 onwards so 2 is not a space 1 is not a space yeah now in this case is a special case we will not get a space over here we will get 0th character so there are two cases we will stop i either you get a space you stop loop of i and start copying word you will get a space start copying word here you will not get a space but you will get 0th character as we get 0th character start copying word from 0th index so when i reaches 0 we will initialize k equal to 0 and from 0 onwards till we get space we will copy words into j location of b so in this case j is at 7 we will increment j to 7 and then copy 0th into 7th location that is x then first of this into 7th look sorry we will increment this to 8 copy 1 into 8 of this that is while copied then both will increment and we'll copy 2 into 9th of this that is z and when this word is finished 
we'll put null character over here to terminate the string. Now that is what the logic will be using in this program. And then after this is done, we'll display the B string, which is nothing but reverse of original string AB space PQR space XYZ. Now I'll show you the exact coding and working of this program. <coughs> 